let's continue playing the escom files when we last left off fire labs so in 20 days we're going to be able to boost our research a little bit so huzzah for that in the meantime uh researching giant beetle non-standard weapons alien surgery as we currently were and let's also make see if we can manufacture yeah we can just put ammo boxes unlocked might as well. We should probably look to getting the other boxes researched actually come to that, but we'll see about that once the giant beetle is done. Ah, uh, some sniper rifle clip and SVD clips. I mean, ammo's not the worst thing for us to just randomly have additional stuff on. Okay, uh, cult apprehension. Church of Dagon. To be fair, this is probably one we can do with the other base, so let's, um... Let us go the crops. Oh, also, the uh, animal pen's now done, so it can now actually capture live animals, just can't capture live prisoners as of yet. Still, 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 worth us doing what we can. Um, but craft, we will then trade out uh, Agent 5, Agent 6, and keep going with how we are. Prison cells and Templar powers complete as well, so now they can capture people. Which at the very least allows us to transfer some people around as well as required. Anyway, arrest the suspects. So, no additional things to worry about with that. Our uh, shopkeeper has the cult, which is fine. Give them a stun gun and a stun stick. I think everything else is more or less fine with this. Okay. One detected, he is armed with a thing, and we're going to shoot him. If you kill Gaspar, we're not going to be happy. And the old man hasn't actually been able to do a lot thus far, but you know, we'd still be unhappy. Alright, prepare to be clutched. Okay, drops and bleeding. Who's got a medkit? Nobody, because Gas because Gaspard is sitting on it. Okay then, let's go out and see if we can find something else to do. We've been shot at by something and someone uh, that is whatever that is crossbow or something I think and yeah we could wait till he falls over but you know we've got our own wounded people okay Ugh. you able to clutch that not quite shopkeeper on the other hand though You move forward. Ugh. Move to there. Drop that. Pick up this. Turn and use medical device. Okay. Guess bad. 16% aim shot. Well, if he doesn't fall over immediately, then something has gone disastrously wrong. But, in the meantime, the hunt is on. I wonder if it's worth us actually going in the shop here. Probably. Alright, we'll keep Rose on hand over here. I should really have Snapshot on. I should really be running at places. Don't worry about that. Capture alive. Perfect. Just in time to end up in our stores as well. Okay, stat increases all around. Crossbow bolts, supporter of Dagon, and battle scar for Gaspard, who gains additional health. Uh, 
Okay. Twentieth of May. Twenty-first of May. I really should be focusing on some of the cheaper step technologies. I'm thinking. Strange life form. This is another African-based one. So let's see if the team can handle it. We no longer have Agent One, so we shall go and include Agent Redshirt. Sporting bow and a crossbow apparently now are things we can have, and yeah, and field revolver as well. It's fine, they'll slowly grab their own stuff. To escape, intercept, and a van four off to the strange life form. Cult activity detected. Cult safe house for the Red Dawn. Oh, we have plenty of time, so I hope we've got a lot of our agents back. We do. Okay. So, Van 1. Let's bring on Steve and let's bring on Connor. And to support Delta and Topo. Actually, we're going to bring in Gonna bring in a senior agent team here with Delta. Also gonna make sure that as much as possible we have some additional stuff. But mostly I'm just thinking a couple of a few flashbang grenades in all in all truth. Right, intercept. Van one, off you go. And as we wait, research on the giant beetle exam. It's a rather disgusting creature is a relentless, if primitive hunter. If there's a keen sense of smell, allowing it to chase after larger animals, this huge insect would never survive on modern Earth without bizarre, highly efficient blood cells, allowing it to sustain its unusually large body. Its main weakness is fire, but it's also susceptible to chemicals such as bug spray. We can now research the giant bombardier beetle. However, what we're going to research instead are a few things. So I'm thinking here what we need is... The ramshackle weapon box. We're going to put one on. Uh, we're going to go through the Black Lotus foot. No, maybe no, we don't do that. Hold on. Where's the AK? Can we, in fact, get an, M if an M16? Would be nice, I suppose. Can research that. If not, then fine. Hunting rifle acquisition. Like an acquisition council of a sick bay. All right, well, let's give it a Smith and Wesson. That actually was a reasonably powerful weapon. And let's go for a. Fast healing spray would be nice. Let's go for the money briefcase. Then we can actually sell to the last one of those. As I say, very nice once we get some additional scientists in and we can start researching things a bit faster. Nope, we're going to troll. Until daytime. Daytime. Select new target and let's see what this strange new life form is. So, did, 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 did. Red shirt then, armed with the Beretta and a stun thing, and well, I kind of agree with that. We're actually going to go with the bat, and we're going to upgrade this to a medical bag. Actually, the red shirt can have the med pack. We'll just not equip him with a electric club for the moment. Bullfrog. Rose is unconscious. Oh, why do I not like that it's going to happen here? Where's the second one? Why do I have the feeling we're just going to die here? Red shirt. Uh, round the corner. 21. We're gonna go for another stun shot. Okay. 
Ugg. So we could clutch. We could, however, do that. And it's still up. Oh, this is going to go terribly wrong, isn't it? Well, all that is left is the mighty red shirt. And when I said mighty red shirt, I was clearly lying. Not enough time yet, as you say. Well, we've done so much stun damage to this thing. You lose at close combat. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh, this is gonna suck. You know what? No. No, we're trying that one again. Only this time, no mercy. Well, no mercy apparently is exactly the same as previous ones, just, you know. Just with the added thing of missing horribly. Still having two fall unconscious. Yeah, this is gonna suck. All right. Um, it's not even bleeding, so goodness knows what we're supposed to do about this. I mean, there's another one as well. Oh, this is gonna be awful. If all four lose consciousness, we do lose the mission, so... And there's a few of them, as we're realising. Alright, one more go. Alright, shopkeeper unconscious. Frozen unconscious. Ah, this just doesn't work. Hold on. Jack falls unconscious. Yeah, this may seem cheap, but honestly, this, this seals like a cheap one. Okay. So, whatever happens. Reaction is going to happen, and then stuff is going to happen from that. Redshirt unconscious. Redshirt therefore has done job. Duck. Snap. Duck. Snap. Yep, even the power of the clutch isn't working with this. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that status means, but I'm kind of concerned by it. I'm not going to lie. All right. Medical bag.
Not enough time use for stimulants. Okay, Rose is up. And that's about all I can do there. Right, the other one was around here somewhere. Also, that frog is now dead. <sighs> yeah, I don't see how we're just not trying to kill this thing, so... I guess that is what we do here. We position up and we see. has gone berserk, which I can't entirely blame her for. I'm really hoping there's only the one of these left. So far, the clutch has done well. Three hits. Is it actually doing anything to this thing? Yes. But again, is this the only one? If the answer to that is something along the lines of no, then we got problems. Snap. It comes. It's not the only one. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Rose, probably want to grab a club of some kind, I guess. I mean, in theory, we could try and catch one of these alive, but, you know. Oh, multiple stimulants. And, yeah, I guess we take the rather difficult line of we now need to advance. I mean, the good news is, I suppose, if they find civilians, they're knocking them out rather than killing them. In theory. We shouldn't have wasted stimulants on all of them, but hey. Um, Beretta. Reload. All right, we do want, we do want a stun gun, but, you know. All right, well, there are now three of us to hunt down this one remaining thing that we do want to find in one go. That probably isn't indoors. And is actually over there. Alright, Rose, how's your accuracy thing looking like? 6%. Given you don't have reloads at the moment, I think just knowing where he is is going to have to do. And we move on from there. Red Jet, calm down. I mean, 
It's not at the moment as if there's three of them. There's three of them. We're in, well, is it, you know, four of them. There's more than three of them. That's a problem. But at long range, I am kind of okay with this. Is it flying? Or is that just weird graphical bits and pieces going on? Well, let's move out to here. And Red Shirt, now that you have calmed down. And also, hello, Shopkeeper's around as well. He's also likely to go berserk, isn't he? Taste pistol with two rounds in it. Let's get going. Yeah, our best shot at this is now just going to be to hopefully long range it and maybe catch it alive by surprise. Who knows? Well, I'm glad to know you panicked and did nothing. That is the perfect kind of panic. That is panic we can live with. I wanted to get closer because we're just not hitting it at this le at this range. Richard, onwards. You need to go and pick up some stuff. Right now, you have no stuff. Being absolutely honest, this is the best chance we're going to have at capturing one, but I am going to kill it rather than do that at this point. <sighs> well, we tried our best and it completely failed. Run away. Goodness is he went for stun attacks and he's bleeding his, himself now, so. Also, we are completely running out of ammo trying to deal with this darn problem. All right. What do we got left? Halt. Reloaded. That was it, though, in terms of that, so. Um, yeah, enjoy. Not enough time units, but that should be okay. Uh, Ugg has nothing. Rose has nothing. And the Richer is going to see him coming around the corner. And he's going to hide. Right, face it, because it's got the most defense that way. Arg unconscious. Right, 
Right, shopkeeper then. Duck. Snapshot. <laughs> Rose, is no cult ammo left. Let's just pick up a Glock. And go auto firing and hope it eventually falls. Okay. Next up. Find the one that was down here and give it a friendly tap or two. God darn it, this mission has been horrible. I know I restarted it twice. I'm not going to do that again if I fail this time, but. But boy, is, that, is this mission annoying. All right, cult down. Um, we're going to even grab a tase pistol just in case. Going to take another Glock just so we got a backup weapon and we are moving on. And I think that's the same one we're still seeing, so huzzah. Right. Aim shot one, Beretta. Aim shot two with the Beretta. We're then going to reload said Beretta and we are going to run away. And then we are going to nudge ourselves in such a direction so we can see what happens. Okay. Beretta reloaded. Snapshot. 24. 17. One more and then we run away. Round the corner. Because these things move really fast as well. Just to add on to everything else. Also, weirdly figures, this would be Gaspar's mission off. <laughs> Not even massively effective up to this point, but you know, this would be Gaspar's mission off. Alright, second aim shot then, 31. Nope. Okay, we'll stick with that. And he runs away again. Now he's too far away for us to do a lot with, so we're going to position and prepare, I think. love to hit him with the cult in all honesty so let's give it that a go didn't work but actually that buys us a way in if we want it all right is it going to move closer and if it does will we get a chance at it maybe Alright, shopkeeper, aim shot one. Nope. And let's go auto fire with the Glock. Snapshot with a Glock. Hope you survive, because you might not. Aim shot. Three aim shots down. It's down, it's bleeding, and it's still not over this darn mission. Six of these things. 
six of these things. All right. Well, we have 15 Glock rounds. We have... There's no point in us holding the Colts anymore if they've not got any ammo. Two tasers. We've got eight Glock with two taser shots. We've got red with just that. Unless something else has gone on. Okay. Twenty turns have passed. Where is this last frog? Is this? Oh, actually, you're up. Ugh. Welcome back. Uh, you have a cludge, you have an electric club, and that is it, unless there's any additional ammo there. Uh, taste pistol. Actually, no, you have cludge ammo. Okay, that is fine. You can actually get yourself back into this battle in some way, and you might actually want to bring ammo for the rest of us in a moment. Oh, it wasn't trapped in here, was it? Nope. In here seems safe, though. I like in here. And the mighty red shirt. Uh, he's only got seven shots left, but I think, honestly, he's earned those. Found it. Oh, thank you, Dell. Uh, okay. So, what could the plan possibly be from here? Because goodness knows if I know. Rose, enter there. I've got to assume this is the last one. Uh, let's bring in some clutch ammo. Pick that up. Grab some lock ammo in the next couple of turns, just in case. See how that goes. Um, Should be assigned to there. The red shirt is probably fine where he is for the moment, and we don't need snapshot. I should be running with things as well. Ug panics, but doesn't fire a shot, so that's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. We got this. It's almost weirdly under control. Unless, of course, it manages to get round. It's not there anymore. <laughs> uh, well, at least I'll be able to tell us that when it sneaks around the back of us. Darn things. All right. Put that in the belt. Put that in the belt. Some people may need that. So my hope was, in truth, that I'd be able to find it in sort of this area and use the door to kind of hide. Oh, that's not happening. Might even be able to get multiple stun rounds off on it. That was sort of my rough thinking with this. But I reckon Ugg's about to be attacked. Just that sense I've got. Sneaky AI and Ugg being attacked seems like a thing that is about to happen. All right, open that up. 
Oh, there's a lower one as well, so we're going to go to this next. Oh, we saw it in this direction. It's hiding around the back here. Again, not happy. Round you go. Has this thing decided to completely leap round on us and kill us that way? Because if the answer is yes, that's annoying. If the answer is no, that's still annoying. Yep, it's tried to leap back on us. But at least we now have a direction. Um, open up. And auto shot. Second auto shot. Uh, it's wounded. We can now wait infinite amount of turns and eventually we'll win. I'm tough tempted to do that. Not, not lying. Oh, hey, at least we know we're going down here. And that I can move. All right, fine. Still going to do this. In we go. Here's where it goes extra sneaky and goes around the side. Uh, that's why we've got Ugg there. Just in case. It's moved. But it will eventually bleed out, so I'm going to take that as a win at this point, if nothing else happens. <laughs> and if this turns into a boring video of me waiting for it, then so be it. I see you trying to be sneaky. I see you. I'm not sure I can do a lot about it, but I see you. It might come back and do that sort of thing again, but I'm happy for it to waste its time at this point. Still bleeding, right? Yeah. So eventually it'll bleed out and we get to capture it. That's clearly the best plan. Right, back in you go, and you do not reserve a snapshot. Richard, snapshot. Back you go, and I'm actually okay with that turn of events. Yeah, this thing is very fast, so we know it could potentially come this way, and therefore we will have Ugg on standby this place there. Okay. It has gone sneaky again. Oh, it's gone very sneaky. Um... Ugg has been killed. Do we just want to... Do we just want to sit here and wait for it to die? Because I'm honestly at that point. <laughs> We've been through hell. And it's not over yet. Live enemies captured one. <laughs> okay. F plus six accuracy for all members, plus ten bravery as well, plus increase the sanity somehow. We pulled off a bullfrog. Patient and battle scarred awards. Second award for shopkeeper. He's just been shot completely at every single decision he's gone at thus far, I think. We did lose Ugg, who had the Nova Watch reward. We therefore need to purchase one additional agent at the Temple of Pow. We also probably need to work out some way of getting them some better weapons. Because clearly, they deserve them. 
strange life form in the Arctic. Okay, well, let's, um... Let's send out Team 2 once we make sure they've got some equipment. And find out who's on Team 2, actually, come to that. Um, yeah, let's bring Commissar out. Let's bring Chiral in. Go for that as well. And equipment wise. Yeah, equipment wise, this should be fine. Uh, in all honesty, we probably don't want to go massive with the AKs anymore, but still. Worth us probably having at least one each to emergency load if we need it. So, intercept, van two. To the Arctic. Let's see what happens. More frogs, we're not interested. Griffin Western 610, which is a kinetic 330 Magnum. A 33 mag 33 kinetic damage magnum. Uh, purchasing this weapon requires non-standard weapons, which we are researching. So clearly that is what we need. So let's put some more points into Alright, fine. Let's put an extra point into non-standard weapons, and let's instead put one into uh, we have an SKS actually, so let's go with that. One hundred thousand US dollars. Well, clearly, we now also need to research the bag of money. And having researched that, which I'm sure will give us weirdly give us a score increase because research tends to, um, we can now research. We can now sell off all of those and all of those, and eventually we'll be able to sell off the money bags as well. Strange life form in South America. Well, team three, go see what that's about. Uh, where's the safe house? In the darkness. Okay. You can go and patrol. Ramshackle weapon box. Contains weapons and ammo, which is fine. Allocate research. We'll research the money bag for the purpose of doing it. New production. Open the ramshackle weapon boxes. All five of them. Anyway, yes, uh, patrol. And let's see what this mission is. We might not do this mission. If it turns out it's going to be quite a few, then we'll wait, but... I'll say that's uh, It's probably going to take a while. All right. Uh, so the only one who needs equipment is Connor. So Connor can have the clutch. Because actually, no, Connor's Connor's our cult person, really. Yeah, we'll take that off Agen. We'll give Agen the clutch. And dude, cult. And because he's more accurate, he gets more weapon. Of, he gets more of it, I guess. Grenade and flashbang. Second flashbang. Flash grenade and a additional flash grenade for Steve. Okay. Well, let's see. Could be interesting. Uh, Agent. Hagen, you failed to aim the clutch correctly. Never mind. Connor. You did not react in any meaningful way because you don't actually have a weapon. I don't know why I was focusing my fire on this, but hey. Um, one down. Oh, moving to the corner. 
that can wait, and advance that weight. One spotted. Red Dawn operative, um, or a lad, whatever it is. Well, a bit far away to do much with at this point. Uh, Steve moves on. Uh, like, Thunder moves on. Aegon moves on. All right, I think we will do this next time because I've just realized we're at 45 minutes. So next time we'll complete this mission. Until 